Uranium has two common isotopes, one with 238, one is 235. And uh, one way to separate them is they combine them to make this gas UF6. And then uh, as the gas is uh, uh, flying off somewhere, uh, depending on which molecule uh, of uranium is contained in that molecule of gas, they use the difference in the average thermal speed because it turns out to be significant in between them in order to uh, separate them from each other. So uh, let's go ahead and see how. Uh, we'll find the RMS speed of each type of molecule at room temperature. And then uh, uh, we will uh, compare them. Okay, so uh, we know that uh, the velocity RMS What happened to my page here? Okay, V RMS. See, uh, is equal to uh, three over three kT over m, and m is if you remember, if you go back to the derivation of V RMS, uh, they started with a uh, with a. Uh, uh, one atom in a cylinder uh, in a piston and then they applied Newton's second law uh, so this would be the mass of uh, one molecule this is the mass of one molecule per the derivation of this formula uh, okay uh, so um, so that means uh, M would have to equal uh, 3 or the uh, first let's start with the uranium uh, 235 U235 okay so uh, we know that the molar mass uf6 would be uh, we just add the masses from the periodic table so we get uh, 235 plus uh, fluorine is uh, 6 19 times 6 uh, so this would give us uh, 349 atomic mass units 349 um, or grams per mole 349 grams per mole now I know that the mass is equal to the molar mass divided by the number of molecules and in one mole uh, I have Avogadro's number of molecules so if I divide this by 349 by Avogadro's number, I would get my small m, the mass of one molecule. So this is divided by 6.02 times 10 to the 23. And this here is in grams, so I would have to change it to kilograms, so I multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. And uh, this would give me uh, 5.79 times 10 to the minus 25 kilogram per molecule okay and now I just plug it in so that means V for 235 is equal to 3 times Boltzmann constant which is 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 divided by times the temperature 300 room temperature divided by 5.79 times 10 to the minus 25 and here you would get uh, V this is V RMS remember we're, we're talking about V RMS so V RMS for uranium two for the gas having uranium 235 is uh, 146 point 405 meters over seconds okay 
uh, if I do the same exact thing for uh, uh, the 238 Uh, it'll be the same exact thing except I would count 238 for the mass so plus 6 times 19 and then I would divide that again by Avogadro and I multiply it by 10 to the minus 3 I'm trying to be brief here since I it's the same thing above 6.02 times 10 to the 23 this would give me M which turns out to be 5.84 times 10 to the minus 25 kilograms and I would plug it back into the same formula so VRMS for 238 would be 3 times 1.38 times 10 to the minus 23 times room temperature 300 Kelvin over 5.84 times 10 to the minus 25 square root this and the answer here so this would give me v rms for the gas containing uranium 238 to be uh, 145.78 meters per second okay uh, and so uh, if we're trying to look at to compare them uh, we can look at the percentage difference so uh, I would regard so if I were to compare it to the faster gas uh, which is the first one obviously the lighter one uh, 235 right uh, uranium 235 so uh, uh, so if I, if, I, if I make that my standard so I know that uh, one way to compare them is by doing the percent difference in other words uh, uh, the RMS for uranium 235 if I make this the standard the one I would divide it by RMS 235 right should be one so this is the hundred percent one and I would subtract that from the ratio of the other one over RMS 235 so 238 here right so it's like saying I would find uh, if, if this is the first one is my standard the second one I'm trying to see how much is the 238 compared to the 235 and I subtract them I find their percentage difference because in percent this is the hundred percent one and this is whatever percent this out of this and if I subtract them I would get the percentage difference of course after I multiply the whole thing by hundred and uh, so here I would get uh, one minus uh, 145.78 divided by 146.405 and multiply this by 100 and you would get uh, 40 the percent difference between them is 43 percent uh, which means or sorry 0.43 percent which means that the uh, lighter uranium travels uh, 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 the lighter uranium which is this if you move this term here to the left hand side it's uh, uh, it's 0.43 uh, uh, percent faster than uh, than the 238 velocity right that's that's what this is saying the percent of the 235 which is this guy is actually 0.43 percent plus the uh, V238 over V235 which is the percent of the 238 so uh, 0.43 percent so uh, so you the gas with the gas with uranium 235 is 0.43 percent faster than the gas with uranium 238 that concludes this problem